to, got to give it up. Yeah, all right. Got to, got to give it up. Yeah. Our first guest is uh, calling himself the biggest box office star in Hollywood. Uh, his two films, Casino and Toy Story, listen to this, made a record $53 million their opening weekend. Yeah. He's taking all the credit. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. Don! Every time I see you, I'm immediately reminded of how good you smell. <laughs> you, you have, like, such a clean, fragrant presence to you. Why don't you go on safari? <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, I maybe I will. I came out here, I became an animal. <laughs> no. Hey, you smell good, too. No, no. That's I, it for me. I, hey, hey, how you doing? <clears throat> I'm doing well. well let I'm, me ask you a couple I'm of questions. I'm very big in pictures now. I know, I know. This... you got these two blockbusters. <laughs> and this is a favor. Yeah. <laughs> You know, at one time, Dave, I looked forward to being on the show. And now, what, no. now, now I'll be honest. Oh, I don't okay. need this. I really don't need now, this. Um, now, I talk. sit around with De Niro and Scorsese, and we just sit there in the house and say, what about Letterman? Forget it. <laughs> you know, I watched that casino film. I read the book. I watched the film. I thought it was both very entertaining. And, you know, true story. It's based yeah, on a true it story. It certainly is. Yeah. <laughs> and I looked in the film. I haven't found my aunt since I did it. No. And I looked in the film, and you're just, you're just barely in the damn thing. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Now, I'm in, I'm, I'm in it throughout the whole film, but of course you didn't see it with 750, and you, you don't go for that. <laughs> no, of course not. So, no, I am. In fact, I'll put it to you another way. I carried De Niro. You think so? Oh, definitely. I carried De Niro, and I, and I, and I tell you folks very honestly, I'm happily married 30 years, but Sharon Stone does have the <laughs> for me. And, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> You're saying Sharon Stone has some kind of gastrointestinal problem for you? Do you think it's... <laughs> You're on a regular roll, no, aren't you? I, just, I, don't know. I never thought you'd turn on me. It's the free rum punch. Indianapolis won the bridge. Yeah. Turned on me okay. for some reason. Uh, did you get along with De Niro all right? Oh, sure. When yeah. I spoke to him, he just sat in the corner and went... <laughs> I gave him a cookie and he went away. He didn't know he what the hell away. time it was. You gave him a cookie and he went away. He just mumbles. We went out to... Uh... <laughs> you don't have to repeat it. I'm not Johnny Ray. I know what's going on here. Johnny Ray, for you young people, had a hearing problem. Uh, okay, and... fine, thank you. I think he's dead now, but uh, uh, no matter. <laughs> yeah, no matter, exactly. Yeah, he died, just he died. It. No matter. Use I know what I said. You keep okay, repeating I'm everything sorry. I say. I think I'm on tape. Where's the tape here? <laughs> so anyway, you and De Niro, you had a good rapport. You got along. Oh, yeah, it was great. We went out to dinner. It was like being alone. Uh-huh. Uh, Sort of like being with you when I was with you and Bob Morton in California. Was, we had dinner just, one night, it was just and you talking, sat there with your baseball cap and spit up all over yourself. I was just talking about it. I was just talking to Morty about that before the show. You and your wife were very gracious. You invited myself and uh, Morty and uh, Peter LaSalle all to the big show at the... Uh, at the s at the Desert Inn Desert at the time. Inn, yeah. Right. Yeah. Snap out of it. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> That's the first, at 48, 49, that's the first thing that goes. Where am I? What so time you, is it? You treated us to the big show. Yes, I did. <laughs> Ed Sullivan is alive. And now... <laughs> Let's really hear it. And then afterward... We got to go back to your uh, dressing room to watch you. You had a towel on your head. That was very entertaining. Yeah. And then a big dinner. We had a huge dinner. Yeah, it was very you nice. Were, you were weird. You, 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 I wasn't weird. You like I... to be alone a lot, Dave. Hey, there's nothing to be ashamed of. You're a loner. <laughs> I mean, oh, you came in my dressing room and then you went in the closet. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> you don't scary. like to mix. You, you but it was fun. It was, a, it was a, for me, it was a rare... Really want to get off that. Behind that the <laughs> seat. <laughs> really throws you when I hit it right in the basket, huh? <laughs> As soon as I get it right in the home party, don't want to talk about anyway, it. Anyway, uh, it was a great evening, <laughs> <laughs> and we had a lot of fun, and we still think about it fondly. Uh, I'm and, glad and you did, Dave. Uh, I'm glad you did. Barbara. Barbara. Her name is Barbara. Yeah. She asked for it the other lovely, day. Lovely, lovely She's woman. in town now. She's working 57th Street. No, no, no. <laughs> Uh, you know what I also want to talk to you about is uh, Frank Sinatra's 80th uh, birthday celebration. You yeah. were part of that, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Frank asked for you, but uh, <laughs> he couldn't be here. To, you know, there was a bomb in his car. But uh, 
See, that kind of joke didn't get much reaction, but I know, I know Sinatra's gonna hear it and he's gonna hurt my family. Do me, do me a favor, when we come back from commercial, I'll talk to you about it in commercial, and you do it when we come back. Okay. I have a little favor But this you. isn't a favor, this is a job. Yeah, I know, I understand that, but I, I, want, you, I want you to do a little something for a me. A favor I do all for right, friends, this right, I do for all work. All right, all right, We gotta do a commercial, we'll be so right back. So you're alone a lot.